And y'all ready for this? Hello students, a very Merry Christmas to you and wishes of a very prosperous 2023 ahead. I mean, it's Christmas week and we are all prepped up to celebrate Christmas. I bring you once again tidings of love, of joy, of peace. I hope you're getting ready to celebrate Christ, which is the reason for the season. Now today we are going to discuss personality theories. Uh, we are going to do the definition of personality briefly and then we are going to commence our discussion on Sigmund Freud's uh, theory of personality. Uh, we are going to discuss his basic tenets and then we will discuss his structure of personality and then later we will discuss the psychosexual stages of personality development according to Sigmund Freud. And then later on in this discussion we will also talk about um, Eric Erickson's theory of personality. So, what is personality? Now, the word personality originated from the Greek word persona. Persona, which means a mask. And the idea came from the fact that human beings always try to mask their true personality. So when you meet individuals for the first time, it's more or less as though they're wearing a mask over their faces. So you really cannot tell who the person is. You cannot tell the personality of the individual just after interacting with them for one or two days. Okay, so but then what is personality? Now the word personality refers to a durable set of characteristics or traits that characterize the way that an individual responds to his environment consistently, you know, over a period of time. A durable set of characteristics, a collection of characteristics, a collection of what we call character traits that will determine the way in which an individual will respond to his environment over a period of time. Now, this set of personality traits or character traits will involve the person's physical actions, the person's emotions, and as some um, psychologists have defined it, even the person's biological reactions. So all of these come together to make up the person's personality, a set of durable characteristics character traits or personality traits, as you might want to call them. Now, what does this imply? What does this mean? It means that if an individual reacts, you know, to a situation in a way that is inconsistent, you know, a way that is just a one-off reaction, that is not the person's personality. For instance, if due to the fact that the person is sick or due to the fact that the person, you know, is under the influence of alcohol or something, and then the person reacts to a situation in a way that is not consistent, in a way that in which if you meet if you met the person tomorrow, the person is not likely to react to the same situation in the same way, that is not the person's personality. Now, personality is revealed in the same situation consistently. So it's a consistent way of reacting to the environment, which means if you meet this person 10 times in a day and you bring up this same situation, there's a specific way that that person is likely to react to that same situation. Then that is the person's personality. And this takes, you know, it goes on for like a period of time. So it's not just a casual one-off reaction. It's a consistent reaction to the environment based on a set of character traits, you know, based on uh, a set of characteristics, you know. For instance, you can say someone is an extrovert. And so all the time, they are, you know, merry good lucky fellows or uh, however we call them. They're always happy. They like to interact with people. They like to talk a lot. They have a lot of friends. They like to go out. They like to party. They are extroverts, you know, and that is how they're going to be or they are for a long period of time. You know, so all I'm trying to demonstrate or illustrate here is that personality is not a temporary thing, but it's actually a long term thing, a consistent thing. And, you know, it's exhibited over a period of time. OK, now there are several theories of personality. You know, uh, we have the traits theory of personality. We have uh, the uh, Gordon Alpert's theory of personality. Uh, we have a lot of them. But one theory that's made, you know, quite some waves recently is uh, the big five traits of personality, uh, which we usually represent with the word ocean. The O stands for openness to experience. And then we have uh, the C stands for conscientiousness. And then we have the E for extraversion. We have the A for agreeableness. And then we have the N for neurotism. 
you know so the big five personality traits that has been making a lot of waves and has been adopted by a lot of psychologists to uh, uh explain the personality of individuals and interestingly it incorporates part of many other uh personality theories into subscribe to the psychologist and the tv please do so right away just search for the word subscribe beneath this video and click on it and voila you are subscribed to the channel it's absolutely free of charge Oh! Uh -huh.